San Saba, as you head back to school students there, that rural area is in much need of a better broadband internet. Yeah, for some students, the slower connections create an obstacle for learning. KXAN's Kenny Rodriguez takes a closer look at how Central Texas ranks when it comes to the need for internet speed. For the last 20 years, those of the nonprofit Connected Nation have been working to bridge the digital gap. We believe that the digital divide should be completely closed. Today, the Federal Communications Commission defines a minimum of 25 megabits downloaded per second and uploads speeds of up to 3 megabits per second as high speed broadband. Here's what that looks like You could do some basic stuff that with modern technology, but you can't go five or six people necessarily. The 25-3 standard has been in place since 2015. Those at the nonprofit say that's outdated with speeds that aren't enough for most internet users. Under the 25 download, three upload standard, here's how Central Texas counties rank. Mason County has the least connectivity with only 68% of households having access to those broadband speeds. Bump it up to a minimum downloads of 100 and uploads of 10 megabits per second, which Connect Nation and many others believe should be the standard today. Then Mason County has even less access, with just under 5% of households being able to browse the web at those speeds. Just recently, federal and state leaders have pledged millions in infrastructure upgrades. The latest 10 million will go to Lampasas and San Saba counties. That money will help connect 647 people, 19 businesses, and 100 151 farms to high speed internet. They're very excited about what this will bring to their community. Connected Nation says those upgrades are key to ensure our children's future. So we need to think about that piece of home internet and connectivity. And part of it is for the kids. We can't just be okay and with the status quo. In Austin, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. At this time, the FCC is looking to upgrade the megabits per second criteria. Meantime, the Federal Infrastructure and Investment Act is providing funds to boost speeds to at least 100 megabits per second for downloads and 20 megabits for uploads.